Hey everybody, Matt Sosman here. I wanna show you how you can block the ability to download data onto a personal device with Slack. So let's pretend you're using Slack on a personal computer and you wanna download a file. Well, we could actually block that ability because as we know, once you download that file onto a personal computer, uh, it opens up a lot of risk. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so here we are inside Azure Active Directory and I added Slack as an enterprise application and then I also set up single sign-on for Slack. That's required for this. I then went in and went, uh, created a uh, conditional access policy for Slack that's scoped to a single user for demo purposes here, scoped to the Slack app that we just added, no conditions, we're granting access, and under session, we're gonna check the box to use conditional access app control, and then we're gonna select custom policy and save. Now, when we do that, we'll then create a session policy inside Microsoft Cloud App Security, Microsoft's CASB product. And we're gonna call it Slack Block Downloads, and we're gonna choose Control File Download as a session control type. And we're gonna set a filter. Anytime somebody uses Slack, and they're on a non-managed device, does not equal compliant or domain joined, then, we are going to block that download with a custom message and create an alert. Now, I could also scan the file to see if it contains any kind of sensitive data and then block it, or I could also just allow the download but apply a label and encrypt it. I'll talk more about that in another video. Now, once I have this created and somebody violates the policy, it'll show up here in the alerts, and we'll come back here in a moment and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And then it'll also show up in the activity feed. So let's take a look at a real life demo here and see what this looks like. Okay, so here we are in my personal uh, Mac and my, it's my personal device. We're signed into Slack on my personal device and we're gonna go to files and we're gonna try to download this customer data spreadsheet to my personal device. So we're gonna click on customer data, click on the download button, watch what happens. Boom, stopped in my tracks. Download has been blocked. I get the nice splash screen here. There's my custom message that I wrote. Uh, and then you can see I tried to download something, but basically that's a text file that says the file was blocked. So effectively I cannot download this file to a personal device. And it knows that because I'm signed into Slack through Cloud App Security session proxy capability. And here you can see in the domain here is cas.ms, so you know it's being routed through that session proxy. This only works on the web browser version of Slack and not the desktop version because of this. Now, if I go up to alerts and we refresh our alerts inside Cloud App Security, we will see that it indeed blocked the download among other alerts here. And then if I go to activity log and we refresh our activity log, you will see that it now shows up as an activity here that the download has been blocked. So there you have it, folks. Blocking download of sensitive data from a personal device from Slack. So I just showed you how to block downloading data onto a personal device from Slack. But remember, it's only possible in the web browser version of Slack, not the desktop version, because we're doing that session proxy capability. But hopefully you found value in this. Uh, go out there, give it a try. And if you have any questions, let me know uh, by hitting me up on LinkedIn or putting a comment down below. And by all means, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.